It was a pre-programmed cry around 3 o'clock in the morning that woke Christian Deason Monday, October 24th. I get up and when I open my door, smoke meets me, like a wall of smoke. She came in there and said, Mom, the house is on fire. I said, and of course I was sleeping, it was 3 o'clock in the morning. The Deason family was able to escape the house with their dog and the baby simulator. That's when they saw just how large the fire was inside their home. When you got out of the house and you, you could turn and see the house, what were you thinking as you were watching how big that fire was? The only thing that I've known my whole life is gone. Christian had the baby simulated for a class assignment. She named it Carson. Laverne's fire marshal says an ember from that fire pit blew into a nearby plant that was dead. He said the fire then smoldered for a while before it spreading to this laundry room and then up into the attic and then throughout the rest of the house. Without Carson's programmed cry, the family may not have woken up. Smoke detectors inside the home did not go off. I'm very thankful. What do you have left at this point? Um, nothing. Nothing. At this point, it's just starting over. Marina Deason is a single mother working two jobs. The Deasons are living in a hotel for now. Soon they plan to move into a townhouse and rebuild. Or do you think this is making you and your daughter stronger? Oh yeah, we've definitely stuck together. She's, she worries about me a lot more now. Christian got an A for taking care of Carson. Among the destruction, some inspiration. Christian wrote this on her bedroom wall before the fire and it survived. It says, and life goes on. In Laverne, Joseph Pleasant, Nashville's News 2.